guys in this video it started out as a no heat call but what i found was a dangerous hack i, I mean i don't know what people were thinking stay tuned Hey, I'm coming to check on your air conditioner. I'm coming to check on the air conditioner. Okay. Oh, the heat's not coming on. That's right. Where's your thermostat at? In the hallway. <laughs> oh my, nah, look at that filter. <clears throat> Whew, that's pretty bad. Okay. That's your filter. Well, shit. Ain't getting nowhere. Here. How long you been here? Since May. Since May? What size is it? I don't think I'm trying to see you without dumping that everywhere. <laughs> 14 by 24. Right now. That might be why the air isn't pulling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be why. Mm -hmm. 14 by 24. By one. Hmm. <laughs> that might you you might have gas heat and might need to get your gas turned on. That might be the problem. I'm gonna walk around back and see what you got, okay? You have a trash can I can put this in? Yeah, yeah. Out there by the road or something, I can put this in? Yeah, we'll be just sticking in here. You gonna walk it over to the road? Yeah, I'll walk okay, it over yeah, there. Okay, yeah, there's one. Okay. Then I gotta get one of them things today then. I'll get you one. Okay. I'm not gonna leave you without one. That's right. Appreciate me. Thank you. You know how to get in the gate? Yeah, I think I can get in. Okay, don't close it behind you because then you ain't going to be able to get out. Okay. That's the worst filter I have ever seen. All right. I got a draft motor running. I just walked right past that gas meter and didn't look at it. Yup, it's locked. What's this little thing they got on it right here? Looks like they got something over the top of it. It's a new kind of lock. All right, let me work on trying to get that removed for me. <laughs> hmm. It's loose. Well, that's gone. 
what a mess in here. They've had critters in here. And by that, I mean mice. Go ahead and quote them a new radiation shield right here. Look what I'm seeing in there. The other capacitor. What in the world? I'm almost afraid to stick my hands in there because I know what's in there. There's going to be a capacitor falling down back there. Yo, there it is back there. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, the things that I see sometimes. That's a little gecko. There's another one. And <laughs> they jump and shit. And yes, it's a gecko, not a lizard. I like to look in here because sometimes even if you have a stainless steel heat exchanger you can have problems in here what in the world is that it's like silicone why do I have silicone? Somebody has put silicone on this. Why do I have silicone on my heat exchanger? one already Let's see if I have any more evidence silicone on the heat exchanger wish I knew who did that See this right here? That little hole. That's worth condemning the heat exchanger, and I assume that's why somebody did that. Let's go ahead and open up the um the 
Let's go ahead and open up the inside and take a look at what's in there. Orange, brown, black, red, starting from the bottom. There's no labels on this, which makes me think nobody has taken this off. That thing is stuck. Hurt my fingers. Y'all give me just a sec. I'm going to get that out. Yes, we have a stainless heat exchanger. <laughs> and I'm going to show you why somebody put silicone on it and why I have to condemn it. Y'all see that little bit of light shining through right there? That's a hole in the heat exchanger. This plate and the heat exchanger are one piece. So that needs to be condemned. Needless to say, I cannot get the gas turned on right now. So I've already called off water, gas, and light and told them don't come. I gotta look at this and see what else needs to be replaced. Wait a minute. I didn't see that. That's there so the draft motor will run. They get to vibrating so bad sometimes. Um, you can try to tighten these screws, but normally that's, that's not the case. You got other problems and we replaced the whole draft motor. Somebody has pulled it to one side so that it will run, which is not a proper fix. <clears throat> so draft motor, this um little plenum here that connects to the flue pipe what I call a flue box cover or collector box that is severely rusted heat shield probably burners and I have tried to get this plate before this rusted out plate on the bottom and I haven't been able to find them so um one last thing before I go. Now that thing cannot fire. Now your air conditioning should work better, but you ain't gonna have no heat, okay? Well guys, I'll share with you something I've been using on um, House Call Pro and I worked up two estimates for this customer. But in a House Call Pro, you can basically do one estimate with two options and they can approve either one. So, um, and you can have it where they can only approve one option. So, and I'll share, the repair is like um, $2,000 and that's a 2007 system. So I knew to offer them a price on a new system, but with um, the House Call Pro, it just makes it so easy. I don't have to send them two different estimates and be confused when I get approval. They can actually approve online and I get an email saying it's approved or they can call me however they wanna do it. It's just a nice way to set this up and um, I, I kinda like that option. Um, if y'all enjoyed the video, how about like and subscribe? 
if y'all are serious about looking into a CRM like House Call Pro, there's a link in the description. Check it out. I'll catch you on the next one.